Hi, I'm Jake and TV's Night of Nights are just around the corner. The Logies celebrate everything in Australian television, from drama to light entertainment. I'm here at the 28th Sky Bar Lounge at Crown for the Logie nominations and we'll find out who's been nominated. Joining me is Samantha Jade. Good to see you, Samantha. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you feeling about the Logies, the nominations, everything? I, look, I, I did not expect to be nominated at all, so I'm just very excited to, to be in a category with such talented people, it's so exciting. Now, Amanda's been nominated, or your living room has been nominated, I think at least once or twice, it's been previously as well. How are you feeling about that? Oh, it's really exciting. Our show is four years old. This is our fourth year. And we, this is the third year we've been nominated, which I think is just fantastic. And I know we're up against the might of Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, and they always pip us at the post. But it's a great category to be in. And just to be nominated against the, those shows that have been on TV for years and years and Selling Homes Australia, um, it's, it's great to be in that category. And we're all friends. So it's a sort of a, a fake competition. And having said that, I'm going to taser them if they win. You made that very clear during the <laughs> nominations, I think you'll agree. I think Shana Blaze is going down. What's, what would have to be your favourite part about House Husbands working on the show? I think um, uh, basically just working with all the actors, you know, I think we've got a bunch, a great bunch of actors. Um, and Julia. And Julia and <coughs> Reese and Gary and Guyton and, and we've really become a family and also it's just, you know, we've been doing it for four seasons, uh, we're going on our fourth season now. so. And also the, just the journey of um, journey of the, Justin's character and, and the heartbreak and the drama. I think for me that's that's fun and to come to work and to have a you know a, a amazing crew to work with. That's a it's a blessing. Yep, like how we're rolling. Rolling. Reese. Reese. Murdoch. Sorry. Reese. Murdoch. No. Reese. No, it's M Muldoon. M Muldoon. 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 Reese Muldoon. It's a racist. <laughs> it's a racist. It's Irish. Yeah. Reese Muldoon joins me with his cappuccino. Good to see you. How are you feeling, Reese? And your jock. Hang on, wait a sec. Jock from? Jake Freeman TV. Jake Freeman. Freeman. Sorry. It's not right. Right. Now, you've been on the project on and off and stuff like that, and that's always been nominated, especially Carrie. You know, do you think she might get it this time? I, I really hope she does. You know, she's. I think it's her fourth time nominated for the gold. She uh, has had an incredible year. When you think about the changes that have happened in the project, I mean, with Charlie leaving and Husey leaving, Pete starting, Waleed starting, and she's really been the ballast that's held the show together. It's maintained its popularity right throughout the year, and she's worked really hard uh, in her own role, but also to welcome new people into the show and to keep it on track, being the show that it is, bringing hard news and comedy uh, to Australia five nights a week. And on top of all that, uh, she's been pregnant for a lot of the year, and she's just had a baby, so. It's been a really exciting year for her and I think she really deserves it and I just hope she wins this year. Does your daughter watch the show? She does and she's also a little bit strange about the fact that I've got a pretend daughter on the show. Um, they've met each other too, which was very unusual because it was sort of two, it was a bit kind of Matrix-like, of you know, new realities. Um, hopefully she's not jealous of it, but they, but they got on fine, but it was very strange. You know, real daughter meet my pretend daughter. Pretend daughter meet my real daughter. That was that was kind of odd. Now, is this your first time covering the Logie nominations? The nominations? Yes, it is the first time I'm covering uh, the nominations, uh, the Logies nominations. However, we have uh, covered the uh, TV Week Logies red carpet, um, 2011 and 12, and uh, we hopefully look forward to uh, covering the red carpet Logies this year, 2015. And did you enjoy, enjoy today's ceremony? I had an absolute ball. Uh, I tell you what, to each and every one of you out there, most celebrities here, they are so down to earth, and you would know yourself, Jake, um, you know, meeting you, myself, and whatnot. But most celebrities here, they are so down to earth, and um, it's been a really ple pleasant day. As you can see, I am having a glass of wine with a bit of water in there, lemonade, sorry, lemonade, I like my wine sweet. But um, looking forward to the uh, this year's TV Week Logies um, Awards, and um, hopefully I'll see you there and a lot of many other celebrities out there. But I, I wanted to point out, don't forget to uh, always stay tuned to 979 FM, the West Best Area. We are a local community radio station and we'd love to, we appreciate your support. But thank you for um, interviewing me.
No worries and all the very best and hope to see you around on the circuit. I will definitely uh, be on a lookout for Jake Freeman and I'll be watching for you. So to all you viewers out there, watch out for Jake Freeman. He's absolutely fantastic. Don't you think he's gorgeous? Oh, Ciao you. for now. Enjoy TV Week Logies. Bye. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And that just about does it here at the Logie nominations at Crown Casino. Best of luck to all the nominees who are going for their awards. We'll be watching the Logies on Sunday, May 3rd. I'm Jake Freeman. See you next time.